What's up, Spencer with Handlebar Labs here. I want to quickly walk through some basic layout in React Native. Um, and if you're not familiar with React Native or kind of how the layout system works, it's all based on Flexbox. So if you're used to it, using it on the web, uh, you typically would have to say display flex. Uh, basically in React Native, that's happening by default for you. So all we can do is basically start working as if display flex is set. So just like normal, we could go ahead and say flex one, and that's going to allow this container component, uh, container components wrapping this view, which then has an image and text inside of it. And it's basically telling it to take up the whole width. So if I change the background color to red, you can see by setting flex one on our containing view, it's going ahead and setting something to be that entire height. Uh, likewise, if I go ahead and if I just wrap everything in a react.fragment, um, which is basically just kind of a wrapping element that um, basically doesn't add another component to your UI, but that's beyond the point uh, of this lesson. Anyways, so if I were to add another view as a sibling to this container component, and I set flex one for that as well, and I'll go ahead and set a background color of blue here. When I save this, you can see because they're both set at flex one, uh, they're going to split that screen equally. If I go ahead and set flex the container to be flex two, then you can see that's going to take up more of the screen, basically two thirds of it versus one third. Um, I don't typically use, you know, flex two versus flex one um, and kind of combining those. Uh, I don't, I haven't really found reasons to do that, but it is an option if you want to go that route. So we'll go ahead and delete the second view and we'll go back to setting a white background. So it's a little less harsh. Um, so next, let's say we want to center this uh, Lego image and this text. What we can actually do here is say align items center. And you can see that's going to go ahead and move things uh, from left to right. So another thing to consider is the actual flex direction, which is setting the primary axis of your flex box, um, is going to default to column. So if I set this, nothing's going to change. If I set this to row, you can see now those two images or those two elements are going to be set side by side. Something else we can do, I'll go ahead and just comment out this flex direction row, is justify content. And just like uh, align items, we can set that to center. And this is one of the really nice things about Flexbox, especially on the web, is it's easy to vertically and horizontally center something using Flexbox. Um, if we we can actually go ahead and change this to space between. And that's going to remember our containers taking up the entire screen. And by setting space between, we're telling it we want our items to have the maximum space in between them. So if we go ahead and add another text element here, save it. You can see everything's spaced as much uh, between them as possible. We could also spa say space around. Space around is going to give equal space uh, basically top and bottom between each element. It's not just maximizing between each element, but also maximizing uh, the space between the containing view and everything. So what I found um, basically with flex direction row, if you want to put things on a row, you would use this. And I'll be completely honest with you. I've used React Native for over four years at this point. I can't remember when to use align items, when to use justify content. So if something isn't working the way you expect it to, uh, just try switching around align items and justify content. Um, there's different options you can use it, but really I'm, I find myself using center, space between, and space around the most uh, to really work on the various interfaces that I've worked on. So um, I definitely suggest looking into how exactly Flexbox works, but really basic layout stuff, you're going to be using uh, flex one, align items, justify content, uh, flex direction occasionally if you need to put things on a row, and then everything else is just basic CSS. So I hope that kind of gave you a little, very, very quick intro to uh, how to use Flexbox to lay out components and elements in your React Native app.